Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at an upcoming awesome little accessory for your Raspberry Pi or other single board computer. And this is known as the Zypher K100 Multi-Top. It's actually available on Kickstarter right now from a small little company called Zypher and they were kind enough to send over an early review unit so we could take a look at it. And basically what we have here is a battery powered mechanical keyboard case for your single board computer and it was mainly designed for the Raspberry Pi but tons of other different single board computers will fit inside of here. But for this video I'm going to be tackling the Raspberry Pi 4 because most people will be looking into something like this for the Raspberry Pi. So first things first, I do want to mention that the case on the K100 multi-top is 3D printed as it sits right now. This is a very small company and they're trying to raise enough money so they can get some injection molding going with this or maybe even getting some type of tooling going so they can make some wood cases for this. But right now, for their first run of production units from Kickstarter, they will be 3D printed. So as you can see here, we have a 61 key mechanical keyboard. The caps as well as the switches are fully replaceable and this does come with the Gate Ron red switches. They're not as loud as some of the others, but you could swap out pretty much anything you want in here. Personally, I really like these. It keeps it quiet, but it still has a great feel. So if you like to swap out your switches or your keycaps, you can do it with the K100 multi-top very easily. So down inside of the casing, we have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery along with a power breakout board. Now this is gonna power our single board computer. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna be using a Raspberry Pi 4 inside of here but it uses regular old JST connectors, so you could put a bigger battery in here, 10,000 or even 20,000, as long as you can find one that fits. On the bottom side, we have a little cable management panel. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off and assemble the unit. Putting this together is super easy. You definitely wanna make sure you have your SD card ready to go on your Raspberry Pi 4 if that's what you're gonna be using. I just have the full version of Raspbian installed on here for a quick test. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the USB Type-C connector from the battery breakout board to the Raspberry Pi 4. And the Raspberry Pi or other single board computer will mount right here and it comes with all the mounting hardware you need. We're going to be running this Pi from the 4000 milliamp hour battery, but like I mentioned, as you can see, there is plenty of space in here to add a bigger battery down the road. I'm going to be using this connected to one of my HDMI monitors, so I need an HDMI cable. We're going to plug in the cable to the Raspberry Pi, and on the back here, there's a couple little cutouts for cable management. And by the way, I'm using the official Raspberry Pi Micro HDMI cable here. They sell them in black and white, and I kind of wish I would have got the black one. I think it would have looked a little better here. But overall, this will give me a good idea of how this thing functions. And you really don't need to pull the whole keyboard off to assemble the unit. I just took it off so we could take a look at that breakout board and the built-in battery. So all that's really left to do is mount the Pi in here and reassemble the whole unit. And here it is. I've just added a small heatsink to the Raspberry Pi 4. I have my HDMI cable ready to go. It also comes with an extra panel to cover up your Raspberry Pi or other single board computer, but there's also enough space here to use a GPIO powered 3.5 inch LCD display. And this is something I'd actually like to do down the road, but I don't have it set up for Raspbian right now. But I think this would be awesome to have this running over here and just give us some system information for the Raspberry Pi 4, but everything's really going to be displayed out of the HDMI. And one of the coolest things that I saw on their Kickstarter is a Raspberry Pi powered calculator using a very similar screen. And this is also available on their Kickstarter as a kit. It's known as the M220. So I'm just going to throw the SBC cover on here and boot it up for the first time. And here it is. We're just going to plug in the included shorter USB Type-C cable to one of the free ports on the Raspberry Pi and then the other end into the keyboard itself. Keep in mind the frame rate of my camera isn't lined up with the RGBs here, so they do look flickery on camera, but they are super smooth. You won't see any of this with the naked eye. By using a hotkey combination on the keyboard, you can change how the RGB works. We can set it to solid colors, rainbow effects, and it even has a little audio input. So when audio is heard by the keyboard, the RGBs will line up with that sound. Personally, I just like the little rainbow effect here, but you can set it to a solid color if you'd like to. And here it is. I just have it connected to a 22-inch AOC monitor. I have a single cable coming out of the multi-top, and that's just my HDMI for the display. The Pi is being powered by the built-in 4000 milliamp hour battery, and everything's working great here. I personally love the way this looks. It's a super clean little setup here. And like I mentioned, these keys aren't that loud. You can swap them out if you want them louder, but these do come with those red keys, so they're going to be kind of quiet. But they still feel really good. 
So overall, I love the idea of the K100 multi-top. It still looks really great even though it's got a 3D printed case and hopefully they do make their goals so they can do some injection molding and some wood castings. I mean, that would be amazing to have something like this with a nice refined base. It's also great that this does support different single board computers, but there are a few things that I would like to see changed here mainly in the back. So first up, it's a bit tedious to recharge the battery. You do have to remove the base plate or the cable management plate on the bottom to get to the micro USB to charge the internal battery. Personally, I would love to see an external charge port. Even if it was micro USB, I'd still be fine with that as long as I don't have to remove the plate on the bottom to recharge the built-in battery. Another thing I would love to see is an external HDMI, just so we don't have to router cables out of these little holes in the back. But other than that, I really do love the design of this. And if you're interested in learning more about the K100 multi-top, I will leave links to the Kickstarter and their official website in the description. Keep in mind, you can also pick up the calculator version, and I hope to get my hands on that soon. But this was just a quick look at the unit. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.